discovery really keeps your brain going and keeps you excited. Every day, every patient is a puzzle and you're really trying to figure out what can you do about it. My initial fascination was with a childhood neurological disorder called Rett syndrome. I did not know at the time the relevance of that to something seen more and more commonly today, which is autism. Seeing children with these problems and quickly realizing I have to do something about it. That's when I decided I would go back and get trained in research and learn how to find the causes for these diseases. I just was very naive that if I just went to the lab and did the research, I can help. Sometimes you go for months, years, and nothing is happening. I had no idea how hard research can be, but I kept remembering, okay, if I went back to the clinic, I still have nothing to offer, and I just can't stand it. About 2013 is really when I first, what I consider a really breakthrough about a path to really now have therapeutic entry points for some of these diseases. That path that we charted for one rare disease gives me a lot more hope than I had 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and even when I was naive thinking I can fix the world by finding the genes of these diseases. We're not promising a cure yet because there's so much we don't understand, but we need scientists from diverse disciplines and from diverse institutions to work together and collaborate. Many parents will tell me, if my child can tell me, I love you, or just say, mama, I'm grateful. Can you imagine that? There is a reward getting out of bed in the morning and coming to the lab not knowing what you're gonna find today. What keeps us in science is that unexpected, that excitement, and that eye on doing something to help somebody.